So this first generation uh, Jaijo Classified Series Cobra Commander and the variations that came after this guy somehow they are more figurines than action figures. So the colors would just be different, different sets of accessories but with regards to articulation it's just going to suffer the same thing. So the purpose of this video is actually to find a way to have a action figure of a Cobra Commander. So let's move on with the video. So the most likely candidate or the most suitable candidate for a Kitbash Cobra Commander figure is going to be Marvel Legends Shang-Chi. This is the Death Dealer action figure. So let's do a parts swap. Okay, so let's take a look at the specifications and dimensions part of both action figures. So I already took out the head unit from the Death Dealer action figure. So as to height and with regards to the width of the bodies of the action figure, so as you could see, the Death Dealer bodies actually is a little bit smaller. Not really by um, leaps and bounds, but just a fraction, just about a centimeter. So with regards to the pegs, I already measured the pegs, so you could easily just take this head off and place it on this action figure. And by the way it looks, it really looks really nice. So we have armored knee pads and our um, body armor on the uh, torso of the action figure. We have forearm guards, so we're just going to um, replace the handsets of this unit. So let us take a look at the action figure, this body. So nice texture on the body, the uniform on the arms. So this really looks like a Cobra issued uniform, something that the Cobra Commander would use. So I wanted to go further with regards to this Kitbash build, but somehow when I compared the color, combi uh, color combo of both action figures, this is going to be a darker blue, this is a lighter blue. So I can't just use any parts on the body, the arms, and the legs on this action figure, so I really can't use anything neck down so it's just going to be a head swap and accessory swap the handsets and we're going to uh, place some of the uh, belt and possibly a pistol on this action figure and possibly replace this on this action figure so let's try okay so just like that an easy fix to have a nicely articulating cobra commander action figure so not just one that is nice to look at while it is standing but it is something that you could grab on your shelf and play with and of course take uh, take photos um toy photography um have this mounted on a vehicle or what so let's take a look first at the base figure without any of the accessories so as you could see with regards to dimension just right so the head sits nicely on the body we still have an exposed area of the neck and the handsets those are from the gi joe classified series uh, cobra officer so let's take a look closely now at the action figure so with regards to articulation we still have great articulation left and right motion we also have tilts and the armor and the shade of the uh, the helmet i mean the shade of the helmet the blue part matches the rest of the uniform and the shade of the silver on the visor of the helmet is a match for the silver on the rest of the body of the action figure so it's time to accessorize this guy okay so we finally have the final look or build for a highly posable cobra commander figure so instead of a uh, figurine this is now an a proper action figure okay so let's do a quick 360 of the new action figure so with just the right stuff just the right accessories on the action figure so as not to drown the details on the action figure with the stuff or the accessories so just 
the utility belt so utility belt that comes from from a fortnite action figure which i took off and put on a python patrol cobra viper but somehow the look of that action figure changed so i took it off and this time it is with the cobra commander because it's a uh, match for the outfit of the cobra commander so the next accessory that we added is going to be the pistol thigh mounted on a thigh mounted holster okay so action force valvers and the rest of the stuff that is going to come from the accessories of the base cobra commander figure so we still retain this just in case we want a change of mood that we want this head on that body it is still possible okay so we just uh, made use of the sword the belt and cut off the strap system and took off the cape and of course that uh, gold thing that was hanging on the shoulder pauldron so just very simple modification to make the figure really pop and this time it is a proper action figure something that you could mount on a vehicle if you have a vehicle for this scale of a figure or if you want to do toy photography or just when you um, came home from after work um, just having a little bit of coffee and some snacks and you want to play with an action figure and you want to play with a cobra commander then this is a very possible figure this time okay so let's take a look at the closer uh, details so we don't need a really big cobra emblem on the cobra commander because he is the cobra commander so just the right emblem and of course he wields the sword the command sword i mean so that is the details and this thing is a floating moving piece so whenever i wish to post this action figure i could move this sword shift around so let's bring in the other cobra personalities or characters that we have on board to compare this with. so we have the cobra commander with the python patrol cobra officer and that python patrol cobra viper so we have cobra commander with two versions of the battle android trooper so we have Cobra Commander with Destro and Major Blood. So this ends my custom or kit bash. Just something simple that you could follow if you want a highly articulating Cobra Commander. Something that you could play with. So simple kit bash. Um, simple replacement of parts and using just the right body with the right head and hands and accessories so if you like this video like comment and subscribe to help me grow my channel and see you on the next action figure or custom action figure review